Mechanical ventilation is one of the most challenging procedures in an ICU. It is a life support treatment that aims to maintain an adequate alveolar ventilation and gas exchange in critical ill patients. When in the correct ventilator settings, is crucial for the patient treatment, recovery, and winning. In order to make mechanical ventilation treatment more flexible and responsive to the changing patient requirements, some advanced ventilator methods have been developed to this date. They have been designed to improve ventilatory, the ventilatory therapy and patient's timing or synchronization. In a general way, they allow, first, to proportional assist the, the inspiratory effort of the patient or to automate medical reasoning. However, despite the availability of several major advanced ventilation techniques, basic and standardized settings that do not, do not always fit uh, each patient's needs are mostly used in clinical practice, wasting the benefits of the advanced ones or the benefits of providing a more personalized therapy. This is because the advanced ventilators are still mainly open-loop control devices, requiring the intensivist to set the main output of the ventilator. Due to this, uh, the intensivist needs not only to review the patient's underlying illness, but also to be familiar with many features of today's advanced ventilators to select and set a proper ventilation strategy for their patients. Frequently, this is carried out on a base of trial and error as the ventilated patient response is observed, which increases the iatrogenic risk. Also, this needs to be done in a timely manner and in the busy and at a times chaotic ICU setting. We've seen that selecting the proper ventilation settings according to the patient requirements is a complex task that mainly relies on the clinicians or intensivist know-how. This is a laborious process due to, first, the large amount of patient's data that uh, need to be processed in a timely way. Also, Mechanical ventilators are medical devices with a high complexity, wherein there is a high quantity of available ventilatory modes or strategies. There is also a high disparity among their nomenclature, uh, which are not unified among ventilator brands. And finally, we have no, the patient features. So there are many pathologies that lead to a mechanical ventilation need. So in this situation, those patients are in a critical condition. So therefore, in situations like this one, so medical decision can make the difference between life and death for the patient. So a no proper configuration can put the patient life at risk and involve longer hospital stays. Therefore, it's crucial to take actions that help physicians improve their, their understanding of ventilator use and treatment effective, effectiveness. In other words, there is a need of providing simulations environments or computerized systems that allow predicting the respiratory response of patients under mechanical ventilation and, in this way, health physicians in the mechanical ventilation decision-making.